What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of American Truck Simulator. This is episode 28. The date for me is December 10th. Um, I haven't recorded for about four days, but uh, yeah, I've been doing uh, Rainbow Six Siege, so I've been trying to uh, play that while I'm not uploading or, you know, whatever. I don't even know what I'm trying to say. But we got this job here, 895 miles from Redding, California to Flagstaff, Arizona. It's a hazard class two, and it's a standard delivery. You know, make us 98, almost 100 grand. So I decided to pick this one. Plus, it's a long trailer. We could make it a short trailer now that I know about this, but I'd rather have the long trailer. I like long trailers. They're easier to back up. So, well, I shouldn't say that so soon because we're going back to Texaco, so it's probably going to be a pretty tough spot. Pretty tough delivery, but let's go get our trailer. It's back here somewhere. Should have my hazard lights on. Did I take that job? I hopefully I did. Uh, is it back there? Yeah, it's back there. I was just, I was like, did I take that job? But sometimes I don't actually take the job. I just click on it or whatever. Yeah, good. Nope, not good. I'll get it at an angle. Oh, it's hot in here. Turn on my fan. All right, let's get let's get on the road. So how you guys been the last few days? I did upload, I believe it was 23 and 24. Uh, well, for you guys, it already <laughs> it'd have been a long time ago, but uh, I did upload those on Friday, Friday the 9th. Hold on. You know me, I gotta check the route. Make sure I wanna go this way. I can make it. Well. Wait. Can I just go down the five? And then get on the 40? Or is that impossible to do? Like. Come this way. It is actually a shorter trip if I do this, do it this way, then actually do it the other way. Then I gotta make a right instead of a left. Got it. Stop turn. Whoa, that was weird. Yeah, I gotta go right. There's traffic. There's traffic. And there's a cop. And there's a car. There's nobody. Oh. And hey, it jumped into another thing. Whatever. You're gonna you're gonna wait right there, pal. Get my view set. And off the phone, Mandy. Gosh. We gotta get Fuel. We got a half a tank. Uh, so we got to get fuel somewhere. Ambulance. Why ambulance? Nice truck, buddy. Hey! No, it's hey. Get it? Hey! Hey, gravel! Go! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, 
we do have 3% damage on our vehicle right now. Uh, I think it's just tires. I think. I mean, it could be everything, but I don't want to, uh, fast am I going? 35. Uh, I don't want to... It's... I mean, I could do it, but it's not going to be legit to pull into there, r repair my truck, and then somehow get out. Uh, it would be more of a hassle. Well, no, there's no trucks there, but we're already past it. Okay, no gas stations up here. 7 Eleven. I have a big old sign. Uh, recruitment. Oh, there's a gas station at the end. 65 miles an hour, but then. No, there should be one off the freeway somewhere. Or I can go straight, turn around. Uh, no. I'm gonna full fuel up first. Wonder if I can do it. No. Sorry, forgot my blinker. Um, yeah. I'm trying to do too, too many things at once here. Will you look at me? No? I'm just gonna sit there? Fine. Whatever. Who's giving us gas? You should get out and do that. Oh, I didn't need that much gas. And the fuel gauge, if you go back and watch it, it went straight up. Whoa, that was close. Alright, so let's do our totally illegal turn here. Hello. How you doing? Oh, we're good. Yo, man. Talk about jackknifing. We're jackknifed at the moment. That's why it's not going anywhere. Yeah, that's not realistic. Somebody would, I mean, they'd rather go straight and turn around than... Or go along the side road and get on another uh, entrance. But, you know me. Seventy, and I'm going about ten. So, whoa, buddy, really? Stupid Prius. You guys, relax. So yeah, I've been doing a lot of Rainbow Six Siege. Uh, for mature audiences only, I curse up a storm. And I already told you why in other episodes, so I'm not going to tell you why in this one. But, uh, and I've been watching some gameplay. I want to get this game, I think I told you about it already, but, uh, it's not released yet. I believe I told you about it in the last either the last episode or the episode before uh it's called 911 operator where you're actually a 911 operator and you gotta answer calls and send police and, um figure out if there's like a hostage situation because sometimes people kind of call 911 and ask for a pizza delivery and then you have to tell them like is this a real is this a real emergency Ma'am, you realize you're calling 911? Yes, I do. And then, you know, and there's someone in the room that, uh... Hi, Bobo. There's someone in the room, and you can't tell me or whatever. And yes, and, you know, then you send police or fire, or medical, or whatever. But like I said, I do... Actually, I do remember talking about it now. Um, it's like a two-dimensional game. You're looking at a map basically and you, you're looking at the map from above and you got to send the cars 
and all you're really sending I mean you're sending the car across a map it's like you're looking at Google Maps or like a satellite map from above you guys have to get over or what no I was considering starting my career over and just going with the beta uh, and just do that series uh, I'm not positive on what, what I want to do yet because it's gonna make us rewind it's gonna make us uh, lose this it, I might have to lose this truck I don't know if this truck works in the beta and then plus I'd have to start from it being a newbie and then have to take the jobs unless I pull out a loan and get up my own truck right away and then put ourselves in debt right away and I think the hi the highest um, points for like XP as far as parking the trailer like for me they're 250 but they go back to normal will be 90 and 40 and 0 0 if you have them do it uh, 40 if you do the quick uh, the easy one and 90 if you do the where do you want it which the one is the one I always pick uh, so ooh, a station boom or is it a gas station? Oh, see? Bung. Whoa. Hold on. I'm trying to access my keyboard. For the party. So I was out tonight, well, Friday night. It's currently like 1 or 2 in the morning on Saturday. Is when I normally record, is when I get home. So I was out uh, just hanging out with some friends who were really intoxicated. Whoa. Uh, I'm going to turn on my flashers. Alright. Uh, they're pretty intoxicated. They paid for my meal though, so that was cool. <laughs> but uh and they bought me a calendar and a got me a t shirt, so that was cool. But uh I don't know. Like I could deal with my friends that I've known for a while that uh drink that I know that drink. Or that I know that sign is all crookedy. Uh but like people there was a a lady there, she was probably around fifty something years old. And she was going through something emotional, and I understand things like that. But she was also drunk, so that just makes it even worse. And so she's trying to, like, ask me all these questions. And I was like, ma'am, would you not touch me? And then this other guy was, like, putting her hand, putting his hand on the on the lady's butt. And she's like, Popo, she's like, uh, get your hand off of my, you know, butt. Well, she said it, another word, but, but. And so I, I look at her and I'm like, could you not touch me? And she's like, why? I can do whatever I want. I'm like, please don't touch me. The guy was just touching your butt and you had a problem with it. She's like, well, I'm a lady. And I'm like, I don't care. Just don't touch me. I don't like people touching me. Well, I don't like drunk people touching me. If I know you personally, uh, you know, guy or girl doesn't matter you're one of my bros you can touch me i mean you know i understand i mean <laughs> you're intoxicated i understand but like there's a certain there's a certain point that i don't like it if i don't know you and you're just putting your hands all over me just it bugs me uh and i don't know i mean i never did when i was drinking i would never get like drunk like that but i wouldn't put my hands on people i didn't know uh, whether it be a male or a female. So, I would like that respect, you know, I would like, my lights aren't on. Uh, I would like that nobody touch me, you know. But that's just who I am. I don't like to be touched, and I tell people that. And then this, this lady was just not having it. She's like, I go, you told him not to touch you, and he respected that, took his hand off of your butt. 
And now I'm telling you, would you please take your hand off? Your, she was like trying to hug me. And she's like, oh my god, you're so cute. You're adorable, handsome, blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, please don't touch me. You know? But she, was, she, she also had some emotional problems. And, you know, I don't know. And then she started to, uh, I have, you know, it's like sleeve tattoos, so, you know, people, I mean, I had them covered up because it's cold, it was cold, and, uh, so I had them covered up, and you couldn't really, I mean, you could see them because they're on my fingers and whatnot, but, uh, I need to go the other way, and I need to stop. Nobody, 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 cool. Uh, but you could see where, you know, where I, where they were on my body. Come on, buddy, move it along. I mean, you could see that, you know, she kept pulling up my sleeve. I'm like, ma'am, please don't touch me. And she's like, I just want to see your tattoos. And I'm like, well... I don't want you, I mean, I don't want you touching me. If I want to show you my tattoos, that's one thing. Then I'll take off my shirt and show you, but there's no reason for you to be pulling up my sleeve and trying to look at my tattoos. Uh, I don't, I don't like, uh, I think I mentioned this before, but if I could go back, I'd go back and get rid of most of my tattoos. Not all of them, but most of them. Uh, I just don't like them anymore. But, look at this, cops everywhere. I need to stop doing that. The horn honking. But, um, yeah, it was... She was annoying me. And I was sober. I mean, I've been sober, you guys know that. But it's, you know... You don't want to be touched. If someone doesn't like to be touched, someone is touching them. Like, going beyond, above and be... Son of a gun. That wasn't a malfunction. That was a me. That was me. <laughs> I give up on the horn honking. Doing too much at once. I was trying to open up my water bottle, and I hit down on the joystick, and that's why the motor turned off. Anyways... You gotta respect people and give them their distance, you know? And that's all I was trying to get out of this lady, and she wasn't having it. So, I don't know what I was supposed to do in that situation. Um, I told her I'd get her hands off, take her hands off of me, and that wasn't working out too well. And then I told her, uh, please, and that didn't work out. And then I said, you know, a few other things, and then I had to start cussing. And then I had to get up and walk away and like move to another seat because she was just, she wouldn't leave me alone. So then she sat down by my chair the entire time and then she eventually got up and went back to her seat. So she came towards me again and I walked away and I said, ma'am, leave me alone. Leave me the F alone. Do not touch me. Do not invade my personal space unless I allow you to. And that was kind of the end of it. She kind of got, understood it after that, but it was just very annoying. It annoyed me for probably a good 30 minutes. And then eventually I got over it. And, well, she was still there, but she wouldn't. She wasn't coming back because she already knew. She already heard my choice of words. Uh, so yeah, that's what happened. At, last night Friday night a couple hours ago and then I went out to my car to put my calendar and my t-shirt that I had gotten for free from the one of my good friends uh, away in my car and she saw my car and she's like oh my god what do you do for a living I'm like nope I'm not talking to you no, I mean, I'm not saying I have a nice car. I'm just saying I have a car. I think it's nice, but it's not like a BMW or nothing like that. It's a Chevy. 
But, uh, yeah, she wouldn't leave me alone. It was just bugging the heck out of me. And, uh, so yeah, she eventually left me alone, like I said, and, uh, I started to have fun again, you know? And then the, my drunk friends are like, hey, why don't you talk to her? I'm like, nope, don't, nope, 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 nope. They go, come on, man. I'm like, you're just saying that because you, you guys don't want to talk to her. Just trying to... She's, he's all, maybe, maybe, he's he's sober, he can take you home. I'm like, nope, you can call an Uber. Or a taxi. Or a Lyft. Don't put that on me, bro. I'm good. So... I don't know. I got... My phone is going off. It's like 1 in the morning, 2 in the morning. I have some friends that only message me at 1 or 2 in the morning. And they're not intoxicated, oddly enough. Like this one. So, yeah, went to, I already said that, went to the doctor. What else have I done lately? Uh, I was hanging out with one of my friends, watching the, I think I already talked about it in my last episode, but I watched the Raiders Chiefs game. That sucked. I'm a Raider fan. For those of you that don't watch any of my videos or just started watching it recently, I wasn't too happy with that game. And I lost some money. Not a lot, just, you know, just enough. I don't really bet. I don't like betting and I don't like gambling. Those are two things I don't like. Uh,. I used to like to play, I used to like, yeah, I used to play Texas Hold'em at my uncle's house all the time, and that used to be um, all over the shoulder again. A beacon, I see one. Uh, I used to love to play Texas Hold'em with my uncle, but he hasn't, well, he hasn't played recently, or, ha or invited me to play anyway same people still play and I was pretty good in the beginning and then once they figured out my tactics uh, maybe that's why I don't play with them anymore because they figured out my tactics and now I lose every game are you gonna go by me or what pal because I'm going straight no am I getting off I'm getting off Uh, uh, yeah, I'm getting off up here. I like the beacon. The beacon is only on certain trucks, like pesticides, and I think that's a hazard class. I mean, I already have all the hazard class unlocked, but I just could never seem to find that pesticide delivery. Bus. Cement truck. Chevy, Yaris, Honda, Lexus, I don't know. Clear? Can I go now? So that's why I don't play anymore. They figured out my tactics and, uh, Maybe I just kept winning too much, I don't know. Or losing too much, I don't know. But I think if I lost too much, they would like me to play, you know? Just trying to maintain speed and drink some water at the same time. Do, 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 30 miles an hour. How many times have we seen this? Bakersfield. 
They keep talking about adding more states and they're not doing it. It's making me angry. I mean angry. Frustrated. I almost bought a uh, Euro Truck Simulator the other day, but then again, like I said before, you're, sometimes you drive on the other side of the road, and I don't know how I'd do that. I could barely handle it in Sleepy Dogs, let alone in a trucking game, having to drive on the left side of the road. So it'd be like over there would be like the straight lanes and over here would be like the lanes coming at me and then yeah that wouldn't work out too well i can barely deal with it as it is but they do have some places in europe that you drive like america or maybe there's a mod that you can switch the roads over i don't know that that game came out before this one did so i think that's I think they're the same creators. I believe so. Where's this truck at? No. He's hanging back. Good. Is that like a... Did you guys see that? Is that like a shooting star that like landed next to that car? The Crown Vic. Excuse me. Five, six, no, I don't understand. Hey, it's an oil derrick. I think that's what those are called. Still not sure. And I think I mentioned that in like episode four or three. Okay, cue in the, um, whoa. Cue in the weed, tumbleweeds. They're around here somewhere. Tumbleweeds. No tumbleweeds? How much gas do we have? Half a t little over half? I gotta rely on getting close to my screen and. Oh, there they are. Tumbleweeds. Getting close to the screen so I can read the gas gauge. I made myself laugh in my other in episode 20 when I was talking about toll booths and free refills. I think I mentioned that already, though. I gotta write down what I'm talking about in certain episodes because I forget, and then sometimes I just repeat myself over and over and over and over and over again. Talk about the same thing for like 10 episodes. Tumbleweeds, where are you? Where's that truck behind me? Should put it in cruise control so I don't lose power. There they are. Tumbleweeds. So when I get like water. I don't have to take my hand off the gas. Shooting star, but it's dead, just like your dreams. Oh, I hate these. Having to get onto a freeway, or a road that's 70 miles an hour, going zero, there's another shooting star. Going zero miles per hour, it's very difficult. Whoops. I'm already halfway in. I'm already committed. I'm already pot. Slow down. Please. I beg you. Wow. That took us a while to get over. 
gonna get more fuel, cause it's standard delivery and we have like 48 hours left. I'm gonna weigh my truck. Maybe I will, I don't know. Hey, woman, would you go pump gas? Maybe because it says turn off your engine, that's why you have to turn it off. I really don't know. I don't know how much money that was, but uh, I want to know how much my truck weighs, so give me a second. Twenty-one thousand. Goodness gracious! It weighs more than the T six eighty does. Straight back. Cool. I've always wanted to know how much my truck weighed because I never knew. Like, trying to figure out how much the trailer weighs, you know, when it says like 70,000 pounds. So my, my trailer must weigh 50,000 pounds. I'm not honking no more. I give up. So yeah, I was talking about in episode 20 how I was playing a bunch of video games. And I was playing, uh, my buddy challenged me because he's like, dude, I can beat you in Mortal Kombat 2. And I'm like, I bet you can't. And so I picked, uh, I forgot, Sub-Zero, I think, the blue one, or the yellow one, or is it the blue one? I think it's a blue one. And you're playing with the, you know, arcade game, you're not playing with controller, obviously. So, I beat him like two times in a row, and he's like, dude, you're cheating. I'm like, how am I cheating? What did I, like, put in some code? This is not console, this is... Uh, a red button, a white button, and a blue button. It says jump, kick, punch. So he accused me of cheating, but that's what everybody does when they're losing. Cheater! And then we played... What else did we play? Oh, he beat me. I mean, he eventually beat me after about a few tries. It's like best out of three or something like that and then we played uh what was it street fighter man that game's old but i did i i remember playing that game a long time ago i don't know i think i was ken and I beat him a few times, and he beat me a few times, and then I don't know who won in the end. I don't think we kept track of that. And then we played some shooting game. With a red gun and a blue gun. I remember it, vaguely. Uh, going to like the arcade and it being there. I don't remember it being on console though. Obviously, unless you had a gun. And I don't remember there being a gun on, like, uh, Super Nintendo or Nintendo. Oh, there's a way station. Bing! Don't do it to me now. Please. Don't. Oh, perfect. Just cut that guy off. Okay, we weigh 20,000 pounds. I think it's 70. Top. 
78. So it's 58,000 pounds of ethane, ethane. That's a lot. That is a lot. What does my coffee cup say? Cafe plus co? Cafe plus co. All right. Let me turn off my flashers. Then we played that Godzilla game where you're like, oh, not Godzilla. I don't know if it's called Godzilla. I think it's called something else. You climb up a building with a dinosaur and then you gotta like punch the building and crunch it to the ground. I don't know what it's called though. And then we played Deer Hunter or something like that. That was pretty fun. We wanted to play, they had a, what is that football game called? It's not Madden. Oh, Blitz. NFL Blitz they had. There were a bunch of guys playing that and screaming and yelling and cheering. And I remember that game vaguely as well. I don't think there was much of a... I think he just started, like, playing. Like, started at the 20. I don't think there was a kickoff or anything like a ca uh, bleh, A kickoff or anything like that. I think he just started at the 20 every time. But I'm not exactly sure. I was just watching from a distance because it looked like a fun game. And I'm going too fast. Like always. Let's see. Where's 55? It's right around there. Sun is rising. Five 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 divorce, a hundred dollar discount. D I V O R C E seven. Oh yeah, it does work. One eight hundred. Blah 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 blah. D I V O R C E. Yep, seven numbers. Hey, the sun. Where are we at? Arizona. This looks familiar in real life. That looks familiar in real life. The bridge. Arizona! 80 miles an hour! I hit the brakes, turn off the cruise control, because I don't want to have to hit the keyboard, because I pushed the keyboard in. Which I shouldn't have, because I probably need it still. There goes my dream vehicle. I've always wanted one of those Range Rovers Sport. A black one. Black rip. Black wheels. I know that's like really popular everywhere. Black wheels. Everybody has black. I have black wheels in my car. That's what my car looks like right there. Silver. Black wheels. Raiders. What? What? No, my car's smaller than that. What is it? 65? I thought it was 75. What happened? Let's see. Oh, we don't know the time. I was going to say, these lights are going to turn off at 6 o'clock, but we don't know the time. Because it's not anywhere on here anywhere. It's not on here anywhere anywhere. Yeah, say the same thing twice. Jesse. You got it. Talk to yourself, too. You got it. Okay, why are you hitting the brakes? Nissan. Just want to get rear-ended at full speed by a car. Is that what you want? That looks really awesome on the distance. See, how come it doesn't do that in the back in the mirror distance? The mirror distance goes away like a hundred yards behind me is disappearing not even a hundred yards probably like 200 I don't know don't listen to me I don't even know what I'm talking about I'm not even tired I was up all day yes, last night and I keep 
car bane, excuse me. There we go with another Nissan. There's a car beside me. Can't get over. Get over now. Those are fugly looking. But I know somebody in my family had one. I think. A Nissan like that. Back in the day. Turn off my lights. Put on my parking lights. Because the sun is already up. Uh, I don't know how far we have left. But I know we're near Flagstaff. And Chambers. I guess they... Uh, from what I've been reading in the, new, in, the st in the news about this game. The rescale. They added a new city. Santa Maria. Which I don't have no... It's I'm assuming it's in California, but uh, it could be in Arizona, possibly. I've never heard of Santa Maria, but they have Santa Barbara. Well, they don't have the city, I don't think, in the game, but that's a city in California, Santa Barbara. Santa... Santa Claus? No. Santa Clara is another city. So I figure Santa Maria would just be nearby. Possibly. Why am I going so slow? I'm at full speed. Back. Don't hold back, we didn't. That's what that sign said. Nope, not doing nothing. You're not gonna get a response out of me, police officer. It's not happening. No more. I've had enough. I still gotta turn my. <laughs> I've been saying this for like 10 episodes. I still gotta turn my fatigue on. I forget. I mean, I can turn it on right now, but I don't want to turn it on right now. I want to turn it on when I'm not playing. When I'm not, when I'm not recording, per se. Uh, I had to concentrate there. I didn't want to hit the barrier. Try to get over. Hope nobody's there. Here it comes. See, we're not we don't know how many miles we have left we just go based off of the tom tom because we don't have that other uh display up because we're trying to be realistic here which realist whoa i'm on the curb realistically i would be getting tired I'd be going, oh, that's what they do in this game. And if you wait too long, then you crash. You'll fall asleep at the wheel and you crash. I think, I think that's what happens. Whoa. Am I dropping this off here? I am. That's awesome. This is the easiest delivery ever. I wish I had this at every Texaco. It's the easiest delivery, but it only gives you 100 XP. It doesn't give you 290 like our other one does. So we just have to park it over here somewhere. It's right here. Yeah, it's right here. And I'm way off. Come on, gotta be better than that. Especially when we're just driving in. It's not like... It's not like, uh... It's really difficult to do this. I don't know why I can't... See that well.
See that thing? It turn, it'll turn green. That thing on the ground? It's a red dot. Perfect. Excellent. 907 miles. Time taken, 17 hours, 39 minutes. Fuel consumed, 190.6 gallons. We've got $98,086, 3,586 XP. We haven't leveled up yet. Um, we have six damage. Where is it? Well, mostly wheels, a little bit of engine, a little bit of transmission, a little bit of chassis, and a little bit of cabin. So it's 720 bucks that we have to pay. So what I'd like to show you guys is the the next job that we'll eventually pick up. So since we're in Flagstaff, um, just to see like what kind of, yeah, there's a lot since we're in a big city. But we got to be able to go, see that one is in Flagstaff, but you see how far away we are? Why is it over here if it's Flagstaff? Shouldn't it be like Kingman? I don't know. Short, 6,000 bucks. Uh, 503, 650, 650. They're probably at the same spot. 133, 743, 742, 715. I'll probably do that one next. Cheese from, well, I don't really like 7-Eleven, but. Or we can do that one. Which one takes us further into San Francisco? Well, that one takes us south. And this one is better because it's a, a fragile cargo. What's well, better for our money situation? San Rafael, we went there. Road roller to San Rafael again. Those are the same places? No. Well, maybe they just need one to get to Cat. Uh, Santa Cruz. Nope, that's Fresno. So it's probably going to be cheese that we'll do next. So, do we have any bank loans? That's another question I had. We don't. And then, is there a service station nearby? There is. So I'll probably come over here. Uh, I might buy a garage. <clears throat> a garage here. Um, yeah. So, yeah. I'm going to go here off camera, uh, service the truck, and then I'll probably get that one from Walmart. It's probably this one right here. Cheese. Walmart to 7-Eleven. So, so, yeah. So, yeah. So, Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. Uh, if you liked what you saw, leave me a like. It really helps me out. Or comment or subscribe. You know the deal. You know the deal or the drill. And, uh, yeah. I'll see you guys later. Thank you for watching. Take care. Peace out.